Non-human intelligence exists. Non-human intelligence has been interacting with humanity. This interaction is not new, and it's been ongoing. And there are unelected people in the government that are aware of that. That gave me the dubious distinction of being the first person of cabinet rank in the G8 group of countries who ever said categorically, without reservation, UFOs are real, and you have to accept them as being real. I am telling the truth. I, I, I've tried to prove that. Uh, what's going on up there could be the most important event in history. You're talking about contact, physical, <laughs> physical contact and proof of, uh, from another, another system, another planet, another intelligence. That's got to be the biggest event in history, period. I'm convinced that what I saw is absolute proof of that. There is, there is no way we could have created those systems. There's no way we could have made the disks, the power supplies, anything to go with them. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. As early as 49, your government knew we were dealing with extraterrestrial intelligence. And as you probably know, we have indeed retrieved crashed hardware, and we have reverse engineered it, and we have indeed been flying some of that hardware. The people not only have a right to know, they have a need to know. Congress has the responsibility, Congress has the obligation to the people, to the Constitution, and to the nation.